But first, the Target 12 Investigators exclusive, Brutality Investigation. We've learned the man who says he was beaten into a coma by a Providence detective is demanding restitution from the city of Providence. Louis Mendonca's clash with the cop was caught on this now infamous surveillance tape. It's not clear how much money Mendonca is looking for, but his attorneys say he's got a stack of medical bills. Target 12 investigator Tim White first brought you the surveillance video last month and is live now with the exclusive details. Yeah, Karen, it's a little surprise that Louis Mendonca is planning on suing the city, but now we've learned he's moved a step closer to taking the city to court by filing a claim. The paperwork gives us a glimpse into what the case against the city could look like. 20-year-old Louis Mendonca, who says he's the victim of a police beating on October 20th, has fired a legal warning shot across City Hall. Last month, Mendonca's attorneys filed this claim obtained by Target 12. It says he's demanding money as a result of the failure of the city to properly select, train, discipline, and supervise members of the police department. Mr. Mendonca's suffered severe and permanent personal injuries, has and will continue to endure great pain and suffering, emotional distress, and deprivation of his civil rights. A lawsuit will be forthcoming. Eyewitness News legal analyst Lou Polner says the city has 40 days to respond before Mendonca files a lawsuit. It gives the city an opportunity to sit down and have meaningful negotiations if they're so inclined prior to a lawsuit being filed and incurring a great deal of legal expense. The claim filed December 10th does not come with a dollar amount, but says Mendonca has accrued a stack of legal and medical bills. Target 12 first showed you this surveillance video at the center of the investigation. Mendonca says he was in handcuffs when Providence Police Detective Robert DiCarlo walks up, kicks Mendonca, and strikes him several times with a flashlight. Mendonca's attorney says he had to have his head stapled back together and was in a two-day coma. Detective DiCarlo has been placed on desk duty pending the outcome of an attorney, attorney general investigation. The city tells Target 12 they have not responded to the claim. Mendonca's attorney has not returned our calls. Live with the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News. All right, thanks, Tim. And to take a more in-depth look at the document and to watch the surveillance video, go to our website, WPRI.com, and click on Target 12.